Let's look at the problem involving either a planet orbiting around the sun or a moon or a satellite orbiting around a planet. So in this problem, it says GPS satellites orbit at an altitude of 20,200 kilometers. And the altitude is the distance measured from the surface of the ground. Find their orbit speed and the period. And you are given the value of big G. The mass of the Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. The radius of the Earth is 6.38 times 10 to the 3rd kilometers. Now, I asked you about the period, but we haven't really talked about the term period. So let's go over these. For periodic events, we can talk about these two terms, period and the frequency. For period, we use capital T. I know we have used capital T before for tension. Right now, we're reusing the letter T and for period over here. The definition for the period is the time it takes uh, for each event. So the time divided by the number of events. For our case, the satellite orbits around. It's a periodic event because it goes around and around over and over again. And the time it takes for one circle is the period. And the frequency is the inverse of this. The frequency is how often something happens. It is uh, defined as the number of events divided by the time. So frequency is uh, 1 over period, and the period is 1 over frequency. The, so the number of events per second is the frequency. The time duration for each event is the period. And since the period is the time it takes for one whole event. The standard unit for this is uh, seconds. Of course, that means the unit for frequency, the standard unit for frequency will be 1 over seconds, or we call hertz. So if something is 60 hertz, that means uh, it happens 60 times every second. And we did talk about the frequency before. We just didn't use this term. If you remember, we talked about something like 30 RPM, 30 revolutions per minute. That is the number of events, 30 events per minute. This is a frequency. It's just not in the standard unit, because the standard unit would be the however many revolutions per second. So. See if you can find the orbit speed and the period. Most of the time, when we see a circular motion problem in this course, we would write net force equals to ma. Because in order for something to stay in a circular motion, an appropriate amount of net force is required. So let's see. For the orbiting satellite, the force that acts on it would be the gravitational force between the satellite, let's say this little m, and the Earth. So the gravitational force between the two is the big G mm over r squared. And that equals to m times a, since it's doing circular motion, the acceleration is v squared over r. And we want orbit speed, so we want the v. And in this particular case, the m's happen to cancel. And one of the r's cancel as well. And you just have to take the square root on both sides, and we have the v. That's square root of g big m over r. Now, I would not memorize this equation. If I need to find the orbit speed, I can just easily find it starting with the net force equals to ma, the gravitational force equals to the centripetal force. So this would equal to the square root of uh, the big G, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times the mass of the Earth, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th. And then divided by the r, r is the distance between the little m 
all the way to the center of the big M. So it's not just the altitude, but the altitude plus the radius of the Earth. So the R really is 20,200 plus 6,380. This many kilometers. So that's the R for the, the radius of the circle. And when we put the R in here, we cannot use uh, kilometers because uh, we need everything to be in the standard unit. The uh, units have to match. See here we have meters. So we need this to be in meters as well. So this gives us about 2.66 times 10 to the 7th meter. So we have to change the kilometer to a thousand meters and that's what you will get. So this is 2.66 times 10 to the seventh. And if you do this calculation, when you put this in the calculator, you need to make sure that you put the parentheses over here. When you divide something, make sure you have the parentheses. And when you take the square root, you also need to make sure you put the parentheses. Otherwise, uh, the numbers are not going to come out right. So the speed would be about 3.87 times 10 to the third meters per second. So that's the orbit speed. And then we need to find the period. So this period is the time it takes to go around one circle, which will be the distance traveled divided by the speed. The distance traveled in one circle is 2 pi r. The speed is uh, the square root of g m over r. So you can simplify this and then plug the numbers in, or we can just plug the numbers in here because we already have the speed. So this will be 2 pi, the radius is uh, 2.66 times 10 to the seventh. The speed is 3.87 times 10 to the third. So we get uh, time to be 4.32 times 10 to the fourth. We, everything we put in here is in standard unit. So we're going to get a time that's in the standard unit as well. So this is in seconds. And if you do the calculation, you'll find this is about 12 hours. I mean, of course, you can just answer in seconds. You do not have to change it to hours.